Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Riddle, Original Bro. So Riddle is the free card this month. He is a chaotic trickster, and um, he's actually extremely good. I actually really, really like him. Um, so I have four build sets for you guys, and then a fifth, six star. He's five star gold, so I can't play this one, but honestly, I think this build... Uh, would really rip um, triple blue uh, the six star move is the German suplex deal 129k damage and increase your purple gem damage by 113% for two turns and that's a 7 MP blue um, so really really great I guess before we get too much farther into that should take a look at the other stuff I just kind of excited about um, all of his builds and stuff he is a modern era trickster he has a couple links. Very uh, noteworthy. He has the NXT link. There are not a lot of good NXT superstars right now. Um, so I think he's worth building for that link alone. Modern Era gems do 5% more damage. And the one gear, the original bro gear. He is a trainer. Upgraded botch trainer. 18k botch gems are going to do 50% more damage. So that's quite useful. Uh, the strap I'm going to be running for this preview. Going to have the Z plate on. Whenever you make four or more countdown gems, increase your gem damage by 50% and reduce your opponent's gem damage by 35% for two turns. It's going to be pretty effective. And then you can see standard um, Fury Metal set. Purple move damage, 133%. That'll come in on the finisher. Um, so you can see 86% uh, purple gem damage. Um, Z plate makes the gem damage inflated by 50% and then the 133% purple move damage So the strap has only 5% gem damage. So nothing special there um, So there's that so yeah, that's the six star move set. That's how I'd set it up trainer wise It's gonna be very similar to what you're gonna see next, but the purple gems would be buffed 113% uh, It wouldn't recycle so that is worth noting. That build set won't recycle. So it's going to be a one and done kind of hit. But I do think it would be pretty cool. And uh, let's move into the first move set, which is kind of similar to this one um, right here. So let's take a look. Uh, Floating Bro, 10 MP purple finisher. Deal 137k damage. Make 15 random into blue gems. Pin the opponent. Bro Derek. 7 MP blue, deal 69k damage, and make 35 color turn gems into purple gems. Also at 6 star, um, the floating bro, as long as we're doing this, upgrades to 214k damage. Still the 15 gems. The um, bro Derek is 108k, still 35 color turn gems. So not too big a deal there. And then the arm catch overhead kick, 6 MP blue, 77k damage, and choose 4 gems to make into a 1 turn countdown gem that will deal 66k damage and make 10 random into color turn gems. That one um, still makes 10, still chooses 4 gems. Uh, the damage goes up to 103k on the color turns and 120 on the move itself. So it goes up a little bit. Uh, trainers, you're going to see I got uh, Lawler for 6 blue MP, Shamrock for color turn gems do 100% more damage, the Hall of Fame Brett Hart, 40% more color turn, that goes up to 50 I believe, let me double check for you, mine isn't quite there yet, and it does indeed go up to 50 at 17k, so you get an extra 10% there. And then uh, Steph is on there is for uh, one less starting MP. Uh, for feud so that um because this will is a turn two build so it won't go off until turn two so that's why stuff's there it's a nice turn two though all right let's get out there and run this this takes uh the z plate into account this is also one of his lower move sets i believe you can do this one at three star worst case it's four star um so running this with some some flat purple gem damage would get you through a bunch of tours um with just the two moves on turn two um, be quite good. So we're going to set those countdown gems, and then we're going to take a swipe. Doesn't really matter, to be honest, what color, um, because everything recycles itself. Although, um, given the option, I would try and leave purple on the board, and I would swipe blue. Um, just because I have tour perks plus, um, plus one MP is all. And I lost a countdown gem, so that's not good. Don't like that. I'll probably run this one again just for fun, because uh, it can hit 
significantly harder. And let me see what bonuses Riddle has active. 50% more um, gem damage. And um, that's it. So he's hitting 50% harder on his regular base gem damage than he would. And Z-Plate went off, of course. Bro, Derek, I really like that animation. So, uh, 1.7 mil, and that was losing one of the countdowns. I'm just going to run that once more um, with all the countdown gems on there. You could also, instead of Steph, of course, you could run um, Texina for a fifth one. You could do uh, more purple gem generate with, like, Hall of Fame Eddie at the coach. Um, all stuff you could do. But yeah, then imagine that with 113% more um, purple gem damage with the 6-star move. The triple blue starts to look increasingly um, good. Obviously, you wouldn't want to take him in against people that are going to clear the board on you. Because you don't want to lose your countdown gems. I'm just going to swipe at the top here. There we go. Got some purples on the board too. Not a ton, but a few. And we did land countdown gems on those, so... This should be a much larger hit, depending on Cascade. Two point six million. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, let's move along. This is probably my least favorite move set. Um But I'm gonna run it anyway to show you guys the destroy move. You can see skill plate options there, both off of the part picker wall. So we're going to bring the spear in. 8 MP green, deal 85k damage, and choose 5 gems to make into purple. Final flash, this is the 5-star move. I actually super like this move. Um... So, too bad it's the 5-star. That's 8 MP purple. Deal 92k damage. Make 22 random gems into trap gems. If they're broken by your opponent, you get 2 MP per trap. Green MP. And if they're broken by you, steal 37k health uh, from the opponent. So, we got that. And then we got the Broton. 8 MP green. Deal 91k damage and choose 10 gems to destroy. Both of the skill plates would help recycle on this. Um, so we're going double green to start with the uh, green moves first. So we're going to go steel and uh, breeze. There are other two MP green trainers out there. Um, but I'm going to throw breezy boy on there. And then um, Ivar, uh, mine's not high enough. He does add an extra... Um, destroy on the choose. So you choose to destroy 11. Um, where he, I think it's 9k for that, and then the move damage goes up um, to 10%. Our truth is the move damage trainer. You could run him. I mean, they're not, moves aren't super high damage, so I don't think it really matters. You could run Lacey um, for green and purple gem damage. Um, really, a lot of the damage is going to come from the trap gems. So um, you could also run. Um, Hall of Fame Eddie for more purples on the choose if you feel like you need it. The goal here is to load the trap um, without pinning the opponent. So two, three breaks will be fine, uh, even in feud. With the change in perks, then we're going to throw the trap gems out. <clears throat> And see where they fall, and then do some destructoid damage here. 
So greens and purples are what we want. They're what we need. So like we can take two greens here, get a purple match, take a purple, get a green. Um, that should set us up really well for recycling. And then the trap gems, we want to break uh, a lot of them uh, because they deal 37k damage each. So um, if you can create cascades, that's great. Um, it's going to drop that down one. So let's take that. Got to leave those alone if I want to keep my cascades here intact. So that's the other thing too. Maybe... At times, you're better off not worrying about the Cascade and then just destroying a bunch. Like so. Um, but I'm going to leave these here go. And let's see how that works out. Because we'll refill the moves, no problem. Seven hundred K refilled our moves. And then, of course, when he breaks the traps, it would refill them if you didn't recycle the green. So, kept him down. Um, shouldn't be hard to recycle with the traps and stuff. Uh, we're not done seeing a lot of those moves. So, moving along to um, the choose move. We're gonna have all these we've seen now. Um, so, this is kind of putting it all together. Bring the floating bro back in. I'm gonna start with the choose move. It is 10 MP, which is gonna be much harder to load in feud now. So um you are gonna need um what? So you start with two um MP on the purple, and you are gonna need eight MP to load it. So that's worth noting. Uh, much easier would be if you have the purple coach, but I believe that's a, one of the DX coaches from the vault. the Like the Elias version, uh, MP on a match, plus one. So there's that. I'm just going gem damage in particular. Um, blue doesn't really matter uh, too much. Uh, again, what you go here, a lot of the damage is coming from the traps, the finisher, and then some more from the blue, so it's kind of a combination of all three. It is a secondary gem, and it's uh, pretty high, so there's that. You could also use Offa, Santa Hogan for flat blue, a um, bunch of different route routes you could go there. Also, Santa Hogan would make it so you only need seven instead of eight if you don't have... Like, uh, Trickster Hogan is the other option, who I don't have, Hollywood Hogan. He adds one to every match of color. He would be great. He's going to see a ton of use in Feud now, with the change in Feud perks. Do wish I had him. So you will need uh, 8 MP. So a 5 match and a 3 match uh, would do it um, in Feud. So there's a few different ways you could go about it. Um, so, you know... Uh, you could also do like a six match and a swipe, I think. No, nope, that wouldn't do it. Seven and a swipe would do it. So a lot of different ways you could do it in the interest of not cascading. Um, let's do one, two, two, three, five. And let's just get it done right away and get the eight. We'll see. I'll probably cascade. I didn't. Awesome. So five and three match is easy enough to do. Again, get the traps out. We have a lot of blues, so that's quite nice. I like this move set a lot. Not the best uh, break in Cascade, but we still hit for 1.2 mil, so not terrible. He's not breaking the trap, so our green's not refilling, but there were a lot breakable on the board. That's what you're counting on to recycle. So with that one, so you could also run like Honky Tonk Blues, 
Um, in particular, though, I like the DX plate, the Sean uh, plate here, the Sean so Showstopper, uh, because when you break the blues, it's going to turn reds into green, which will help reload the spear, also break more traps. I honestly think that would be pretty clutch for that build set. Okay, uh, another variation of this. You're going to see you can start with a lot of different MP trainers for Riddle. Yes, it is dual color on lots of them. Um, but, you know, that's okay. He's really versatile, so I like that. So the move you haven't seen yet is the Bro Mission. That's his sub. Generate 22 random sub gems. Do 79k damage for four turns. Uh, remaining turn into color turn gems and we're going to start double purple and the um, object here is going to be to throw the trap gems out which will charge for sure charge our green move uh, which will then reload everything all over again but also it'll do a lot of damage you'll see what i mean in particular with an all heart skill plate um, this would do a lot of damage after the sub which we're kind of in that world now of post-sub. If you didn't know, Super Sub's gone from perks, um, so they only do 50% more base damage. This one, we are going to use Hall of Fame Eddie. You can also see a lot of different coach and trainer combinations. And then just for funsies, for an extra turn, uh, I am throwing uh, Peter Mayavia on here um, for 50% more sub damage and an extra turn. I mean, ideally, you probably just would use Lacey again, but I'm just kind of going through the different coach and trainer possibilities, but I think I'd probably throw Lacey on here, ideally. This one's kind of interesting, too, starting with the uh, trap and the sub. because you're using the traps to fill the green. And it does look like his MP bonus is active, because he does have plus two more than he normally would. Not hard, you can see, at all to fill the green. I also wish it did damage. He's breaking a lot of our traps. Now, depending how many traps there are, you have options. It's breakfast. Because those traps are pretty big damage. Um, so we could choose and just reload and go right to the sub, but he's not full, so let's have some fun with it. Let's make a row break there. Oh, uh, let's make a row break there. Mm, let's do one there. Yeah. So all heart would buff the purple if it was on. That hit for 733k damage reloads the purples. All heart obviously would hit for a lot more. And then you're just going to rinse and repeat as needed. Really like these trap moves, this trap gem for him. Honestly, um, I think he's a great free card, great addition to the um, your roster, especially for a ton of people. Tricksters are hard to come by, and he's actually got a bunch of viable movesets. Uh, can hit pretty hard. He's got the NXT link. Uh, he's definitely going to win a lot of NXT requirements for you. Uh, so I think he's a great addition. Um, super useful. Good card. Um, likely I'll take him up. He's actually really fun to play for me as well. This one we should be able to hit a little bit harder. Potentially. And let's just cause all kinds of chaos here. Yeah, 
866k on that one. There you go. So that is Matt Riddle. I think he's fantastic. Um, certainly in a in the trickster class where there's not a ton of good ones, I think he is uh, a better than a lot of them. Uh, I wouldn't put him as the B tier he's listed at actually at all. I think he's an easy A tier, um, easily, probably, possibly even higher, depending how you run him and all of that. Uh, I think he's going to be a ton of fun. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share, because that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.